is going on guys welcome to another video if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know who i am my name is jeremy and welcome to jeremy's wild world so guys this is all from today's title today's video is going to be my very first venomous visions unboxings from the man himself tony webb now tony webb had some interesting stuff on his website and it's been stuff i've been looking at getting for a little while now and i'm so glad i've finally been able to purchase them so in today's unboxing you'll be seeing them and what i have decided to get as well as the enclosures i'm going to be rehousing them in now these were pre-made and i'm quite happy with how they look but if you guys have any suggestions on how i can improve these enclosures please let me know down in the comments below now before i get into today's video guys i just wanted to quickly say according to my youtube statistics a lot of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed so if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out future content now without further ado guys let's get into today's unboxing shall we so guys getting into today's unboxing as you can see just a small little box today uh, really nice packaging with the fragile tape as well as the live animals handle with care sticker with the arrows pointing at which way the box should be faced up now today i'm going to be unboxing them with a new little knife that i have uh, this is not really new to me i finally found my old uh, like flip knife thing and i can use it in unboxings or make them much much easier as you see super sharp tip can cut right through the tape and today guys i got some really interesting stuff i won't be saying exactly what they are just yet but you'll get to see them once i get into the box here so opening it up as you see packing peanuts on the top with actually a smaller box within a box and it looks here that we got oh so we've got a sticker and a business card here guys as you can see here is the sticker of a centipede eating a locust which is really nice here is the venomous visions website if you guys haven't checked out their website before i will leave the link down in the description below and here is tony's business card with centipede on the front as well as all the information on the back and i will be posting this in the description so if you guys want to check out venomous visions highly recommend doing so and if you want to ask any questions use this email right here now getting into the smaller box as I said, guys, I do love a double unboxing. My goodies should be inside of here. I can move these packing peanuts out of the way. Now, let's get into the smaller box. Now, these, what I've been getting from him, are stuff that I've been looking for for a while, as well as something I've been looking on his website to get. Uh, a couple species which are interesting. One for a breeding project, as well as one for just as a casual pet but again more packing peanuts packed really nicely and securely and on the top we have this container here and as you can see here guys it is the thylaponindia <laughs> i just completely butchered that scientific name species also known as the thai vinegaroon you can kind of see it just there just chilling in the moss right there but yeah, packed really nicely with moss to keep up humidity and to make sure that the vinegaroon doesn't dry out. So I got my first vinegaroon, and that is the pet. And just moving these out the way. As you can see here, guys, the next thing I got was P. Magnifica, the metallic emerald roach. And you can see just down here. Oh, yes, look at them. I'm just going to give a quick zoom in here, guys. But these look amazing. Oh, my God. Just look at them. Oh, wow. I mean, they look great in video, but let alone in person. And I'm going to obviously get them out so you guys can get a better look when I'm rehousing them. But yeah, it's pretty much what I got from Tony. Got the Thai vinegar room, which is just chilling right there. And I got the P. Magnifica metallic emerald roaches. Oh, here's one of them here. A uh, bigger specimen. But oh, my God. Just look at that color. I'm sorry, I'm probably making it seem like I'm more excited for the animal roaches, but I love them both. But just look at that. Look at the colours. Amazing. But yeah, so that's the unboxing part of today's video, guys. Let's get into rehousing these little inverts, starting off with the Thai vinegar room. Now, to start off with the rehousings, guys, as I said, I will be rehousing my Thai vinegar room first of all and as you can see it is just chilling in the container and the enclosure i'm going to be housing in is the komodo enclosure that i got for my friend jack now i know i did say i was going to be housing my liocelli's australidae also known as my pygmy wood scorpions in here but i just thought because they're so small like it would be such a waste to give them such a big enclosure 
So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to get the Thai vinegar removing housing here instead. Now, as you can see, it is very, very nice looking in my opinion. I did try to make it look uh, quite nice with scattered leaf litter. A pretty deep substrate in the back. It's kind of dry because I had set this up a couple of days ago. Obviously, we'll spray it down more. There is quite a big amount of substrate back here so it can make burrows if it wants to has a concave piece of cork in the middle which i tried to push down the substrate that's underneath it to give it a starter burrow and i just tried to make it look as naturalistic as i could and yeah so hopefully the rehousing will be quite simple today um hopefully just be picking it up and placing it inside i would give you guys a better aerial look but i am having my phone currently on a tripod so i will be just showing you the enclosure just like this but yeah, let's get you guys a better look at the Thai vinegar room. Now, I wanted a vinegar room for a while, um, but I went with the Thai because they are a smaller species and it was easier for me to house rather than the giant vinegar room that most people keep in the hobby. But these are absolutely gorgeous and this little girl is beautiful. Whoops, I don't want to drop her. I'm going to let her walk onto my hand here. And as you can see, the reason why I like the Thai vinegar rooms a little bit more than the giants just because of their coloration like just the browns and the reds oh just looks gorgeous and i'm finally have a vinegar in my collection and this little one is a female well according to tony um but yeah it's a female and i'm super super happy possibly a breeding project in the future because i have read up there aren't that many captive bred whoops species of this species sorry and hopefully we'll be breeding her in the future if I can find a male and do some research on how these little ones are bred. But what I love the most about vinegar runes is the little feelers I have at the front that they use to feel around their environment in order for them to walk around because they don't have the best vision in the world. So they use these little feelers at the front to help touch their way through their environment. But what I'm simply going to do is just place her within the enclosure and just let her walk off wherever she pleases. Just gonna let her go down here hey don't crawl back onto my hand in you go there we go and of course going straight for the burrow she's just gonna go in and this will be her home and yes it does look quite spacious now that i see her inside but still i'm quite happy with her having this enclosure but yeah super super cool guys i'm very very happy to finally have a vinegar in my collection Hopefully we'll get more in the future, but for now, this little girl makes me very, very happy. Let's move on to rehousing the Emerald Green Roaches. Now for the next rehousing, guys, as you can see, it's going to be of the Emerald Roaches. And the enclosure that they are going to be going into is an enclosure that I custom made. Now this is supposed to be a candle holder that I got from Wilco's, and it cost me eight pounds here in the UK. Uh, super, super nice. Um, I really really like it because it has a lockable lid as you can see i can open it and then close it lock it like so and the door won't open the only downside to the enclosure i don't know if you guys can see it is i had to custom cut out some acrylic as you see right here um, because if i didn't put that piece there i wouldn't be able to put any substrate in here really at all because it's such a thin layer between the base of the uh candle holder and like the actual door so i could barely put any substrate in here so I had to custom cut one. But other than that, really, really happy with this enclosure. Um, there is a little hole piece at the top. I'm not gonna move the camera because it'll make it a little bit noisy, but there's a little hole piece and I just covered up that with some fabric and that will allow for airflow. And yeah, super happy with this enclosure. But anyways, let's uh, just close this for now and let's get you guys a better look at the emerald brooches. Now, emerald brooches are a dream species of mine. I've been wanting some of these for so, so long. And I just decided to, you know what, I'm going to get some. And I'm just going to show you the reason why. Like, if, he, if I can just get one of these little guys. Like, look at this. Look how gorgeous. Oh my god. The iridescence on the exoskeleton. The shade of green, like even the antennae are colourful, like it's just an amazing looking creature. Now with these roaches, I've done some research and they are an arboreal species, so you want to have, that's why I went with this lantern uh, holder and oh, just amazing, amazing, amazing species. 
and I'm going to be housing them in here now. So I'm just going to turn this a little bit to the side just so you guys can see them wander off into the enclosure. Now I did pay for five and there should be five nymphs in here. I'm hoping to at least get one male um, so these guys can breed for me. And I'll just let you guys, I'll just zoom in a little bit just so you can see them running off. But I'm just going to have a little dig around in here. Try to get all five of them if I can. Oh, I should be able to get all five of them. Now, only problem is digging them out of here. It should be pretty simple because I should be able to see them. Oh, here's one. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, this is good. This is good, guys. As you can see here, this is a male. And you can tell it's a male because the males have the very big wings. Now, I'm hoping this is a male. To me, it looks like a male. The females don't get the big wings. And... Oh my god, yes, guys, I am so happy. Like, I couldn't be happier. Look at that. It's a male. I don't have to worry about having all females. I have a male right here. Absolutely stunning creature. Absolutely stunning. Oh my god. Just look at him. Amazing. Like, the camera doesn't do him justice. You should see him in person. Absolutely insane, guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous species. I'm going to let this little guy go inside the enclosure as well. Just zoom in for you guys. There we go. Come on. Into the enclosure you go. Come on. I'll just let him scuttle off. There we go. And there he is. So that's good. That's good. I'm very happy with that. I have at least one male in here, which is very, very good. Here's another one. And you can see in contrast with the male and this little guy or girl right here. You can see how it doesn't have any wings as of yet, so it's still a nymph. I won't be able to tell if it's male or female for at least a couple more molts, but just gorgeous, gorgeous species. And just I'm trying to try and put it next to, there we go. So you guys can see the difference between a male and a potential female. Um, so now there's three in there, there should be two more. But, oh, guys, I cannot be happier right now, honestly. This is amazing. Again, guys, if you haven't checked out Tony from Venomous Visions, I highly recommend you doing so. Such a nice guy. When I did the purchase, he messaged me on Facebook and we were having a chat talking about the confirmation email and everything and saying that it will be shipped out the next day and stuff like that. Oh, but this one is a little ditty one. But as you can see, guys, even as small nymphs, they have that metallic green coloration and it's just amazing like how could you not like these inverts like if someone says to me that cockroaches are still disgusting after seeing these creatures i'd be very very surprised honestly now i'm just going to be digging around for the last one hopefully i can find it in here relatively quickly <laughs> making quite the mess on my desk at the moment digging around in it for in uh, sorry digging around in here for it Oh, that's a nice piece of bark. Maybe I'll just stick that down there. There should be one more in here, but should be able to find it somewhere. You'd think this would be more easier because a, a metallic... There we go. Here we are, here we are. And here is the last one, guys. As you can see, just give you guys one more last look. Just amazing creatures. Look how beautiful. And I will just be placing it now within this enclosure, like so. And there we go. That's the rehousing done for my emerald roaches. Let's get into the end of today's video with the outro. So guys, that's it in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the unboxing and rehousing of my emerald roaches, as well as my Thai vinegar room, which I got from Tony from Venomous Visions. I cannot be happier with everything I got today. I'm actually really, really ecstatic that I got a guaranteed male in my roach collection because I know sometimes people will buy the roaches and they'll get all females. So I'm really, really happy that Tony gave me a confirmed male and I'm very, very happy with everything I got. The Thai vinegar is gorgeous and I can't wait to get some feeding clips from her and I can't wait to show off the emerald roaches once they get a little bit bigger because you think they're gorgeous now, just wait till they're fully grown. And yeah, so that's in today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. I would also 
really really appreciate if you guys would follow me on instagram jeremy's wild world underscore i post pictures and videos of the animals and inverts i keep when i don't upload on youtube so guys that's all for me today leave a like leave a comment and i'll see you guys next time bye bye